is not something that is new, right? We have, as a regulator, been inculcating this habit amongst the companies as to in what way they have to run the business. From the year 2012, you know, when the BRR, which used to be called, the same BRSR which we call, it used to be once upon a time called as BRR. And since then, we have been telling the companies, we run the business in such a manner that its impact can be felt across the globe when we talk about from the environmental perspective, from social perspective, as well as from the governance side. So this is what we expected from those years. So why, what we felt, that time also we had some kind, you know, we tried to levy on the top thousand listed companies. So now again, during, I think, 2018-19, that is what, when the national guidance rules were revised, so we felt, and a committee was formed, and it was felt the companies, thousand listed companies of those years, that there was some difficulty, as everybody has also quoted, that regulatory guidance is required, regulatory role is important. So we understand, we understood the uh, difficulties, the challenges that were being faced by the companies while following those reporting. So that is what, you know, actually we, the thought came into the mind that yes, it is important to have a sector wise, it is important to have a breakup of that data. We have different kind of formula that we apply when we talk about scope 1, scope 2, scope 3. Things are difficult, they are going difficult, but don't you think as we should have a good start? There is always a start, right? And there is a lot of uh, hesitation always to start something new. And when we know that emphasis of ESG is so much at the global level, we know how it can really have a positive impact on the long run. So when we talk about all these concepts of impact investors, when we talk about the exclusions, why do we talk about these things? Because we know as a company itself, even we go by these companies who manufacture the spirits or you call them cigarettes, are these companies not flourishing today? They are, isn't it? So overall, industry-wise, if you see, they are growing. So from regulator perspective, we feel that the BRSR is a consolidated form of a structure created for the companies to bring out the actual picture. It is a difficult task, but I'm sure with the support of the companies as well as all the panelists that who have come in the past from yesterday onwards, we are sure that together we can. So, as in ESG to be specific, we have given the provision, we have just come out with the regulation as uh, has been already pointed out. So, we have brought out those so that they can rate and given a specific scale. It's a different scale from 0 to 100. We don't say that the entity which is giving the scale of 90 to 100, although we haven't have any data to tell you that yes, some entity has given us those ratings. As of now, the average scoring that we have been observing in the past is coming from 60 to 80 max, not going beyond 80. Why, why is that so? What do you think? So as a regulator, we thought, yes, because there is a probability, the calculations, the methodology from the companies and from the, as Yola had rightly, rightly pointed out about the, there is no expertise available currently, but we are very sure in the future down the line, near future I would say, being too positive, that definitely we will be able to come out with some definite figures. So yes, as a regulator, we have brought out regulations, ERP regulations, then we have come up in mutual fund industry, I would say, we have brought out a separate category schemes launched specifically for the ESG. Then there are parameters as Sir said exclusions. Then there are impact investors. There are few more strategies. These we call them as strategies. Although we, we have made it mandatory that every fund house should have at least 
one scheme under the ESG category. Let's see how the things move on in the future, but that's one of them. Last thing that I would like to highlight is about the, as a regulator, we have come out with the bonds, green bonds. Under the green bonds, now green bond, if we talk about it, it's a very broad concept. Have, we have also come out with something called blue, blue bonds and yellow bonds. Now, as a child, if you ask somebody what is blue, they will talk about sky, they will talk about water. So, we have segregated these colors as per the sectors, you can say. So, blue is nothing but marine sector we have tried to highlight. Then, again, yellow, you go by the solar energy, you go by the uh, renewable energy. So, those kind of, this is nothing but called bifurcation of the sectors so that the companies who have been given through the glide path towards till 2027. We as a regulator intend to get the data in the best possible manner. So as of now, now when we talk about these green, blue, yellow, when we talk about all these colors, we should understand that how important these colors are for as we, you know, as a company when you work, whether you are a manufacturing firm, whether you are a textile firm, whether you are working for anything, financial services, non-financial services, so regulator is there to promote that, the regulator is there to assist in the challenges that is being faced. As you all know, we always follow a consultation approach. So definitely all ideas are welcome. In fact, anything new comes up. So Dante, can you also emphasize how CB is looking at the ESG ratings, what initiatives have been taken, or what is the future plan? So as far as the ratings are concerned, as I already said that scores are given, now when any entity is being given a score, we have told the uh, ERPs or the issuers to basically give the rationale behind that score. See, when you see the rating, you just don't want to see triple A always, isn't it? You need to see the rationale behind it. So it's not a simple rationale. We have told, we have directed, all the companies to have a detailed rationale and the methodology also to be made transparent. So nothing is hidden as such. So when you see the score, it's not just that 52, 75, 63. You are also seeing the methodology that the ERPs have been following in giving those ratings. So when this BRSR, they will be analyzing pursuant to the submission. They will be exactly coming to know and that figures will come out in a very accurate manner. That's what we are very futuristic and we try to you know show that you know everything although difficulties have been already conveyed to us and guidance is already been sought which will be given subsequently and on. it's an ongoing process but yes ratings do play a very important role provided they have been giving a methodology and a rational behind it. So that plays a very important role. Investor doesn't just see the score, it sees the theory behind the score. And there is a concept that we have just recently brought about, it's called transition rate ratings or parivartan. We have given the terminologies. These are the terminologies that we have used you know, so that the common man as an investor understands all this. So what this actually parivartan is? It is nothing but the transition that takes place in the span of time. So that is what we intend to. So that has its own importance and we feel as investors, if everything is very transparent and the person is able to make an informed decision, ratings are very important. And what base criteria do you follow in such rating initiatives? Are these the PRSR indicators only or are going, you are going beyond the PRSR? BRSR is one of them, but yes, for ESC specific, we have come out with BRSR core, where there are mandatory compliances. And yes, this is the first time that the compliance report that we are intend to receive. So probably I think ERP would be the best to answer this uh, question to us subsequently few months down the line. So right now, as of now, I would say yes, we intend to get some quality data we intend to have some positive impact of that data. Okay. You 
Yeah, I was saying something like that. Yeah, the money. Um, so basically, you know, 